Hello and welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and today I'm going to talk about the different TDC patterns. Our TDC is one of the most common diffusers you'll see in a ceiling. I often draw it like this, which is a four-way airflow pattern. But the TDC can also be rectangular. You'll often see these in grocery stores. They look like this. So these both have four-way airflow patterns. You can see that the air would come out in all four directions here. But not all TDCs have four-way airflow patterns. You can get them in one, two, and three-way patterns as well. You would use these when you need to control the direction of the airflow in the space. Our S1 pattern is a square one-way, and it looks like this. Our A1 pattern is a rectangular one-way pattern that looks like this. with the air coming out the short side. You can also get the airflow in the long dimension, and that's called our B1 pattern. For two-way patterns, you can get the E2, which looks like this, and your airflow would come out here and here, or the F2, which is basically the opposite of that. Or you can get the G2, which is the square version of this. For three-way patterns, we have the A3, which looks like this. In the A3, X is greater than or equal to Y, where X is the long dimension and Y is the short dimension. There's also the E3, which looks like this. For the E3, X is greater than 2Y. There's also the A3-2. For this, x is greater than y, but x is less than 2y. So we make a little bit of room for the next pattern. And for the B3, it looks like this. In the B3 pattern, X is equal to 2Y. And of course we have the four-way. This is the A4 is square and the B4 is the rectangular version. So let's write this in one-way, two-way, and the bottom row are the three-way. So there you have all the different variations of TDC patterns. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking the time out with us.